Yeah. This video right here. This is the Cleveland Brown edition. Volume one. Video one. Um. Cleveland Brownies, we got a fucking problem. Big, big problems. We got all these weapons. All of this hype. And we playing like some dickheads. We're playing as if we want to go back to being the laughing stock of the NFL. Now, like I said, this is video one. So I ain't going to be too long. But... Uh, Baker Mayfield, I got something for your ass in another video. But, um, you know what I seen today, Cleveland against the Broncos. Yeah, we came back. We fought back. But we shouldn't have never had to fucking fight to get back in the first place. I mean, what's going on? Are, are y'all scared to win? I see y'all in all these press conferences every week. A bunch of gibberish and nothing's changed. Odell, I seen you pissed off on the sidelines tonight. But you really ain't got no reason to be. Because the last game, when we played the Patriots, you dropped fucking balls. You dropped balls. So don't sit up here and act like because you did a little bit better tonight with your ball handling. Don't sit up and sit on the sidelines and have a little fanny boy moments that you're having. Pucker up. Because, see, you ain't innocent in this either. See, you do your little fucking up too. Defensive line. <sighs> you know, we say a lot about Baker. But I tell you what. You know, we got to hold that defensive line accountable, too. Because sometimes I'm going to be fair with Baker, but I'm going to still cook your ass on another video, Baker. But I'm going to be fair to you on this one. See... In order for Baker to be able to actually have a second or two to look around, y'all got to defend him. Y'all got to keep motherfuckers off his ass. If y'all don't keep people off his ass, he's going to throw an interception. He's going to throw the ball to bum fucking Egypt. 
He's going to get sacked. See, Baker can't do his job if you defensive line motherfuckers ain't doing y'all's job. This game to th tonight was disgusting. I just watched Freddie Kitchens on the Browns channel do a bunch of deflecting and subliminally talking shit about the players. But see, Freddie Kitchen, you definitely ain't off the hook. Because your coaching is fucked up, dude. I wish I would have been at the game tonight because I'd have slapped that fucking gum out your mouth. Because that's what it seemed like you was only interested in too tonight. That fucking gum in your mouth. Your call, your play calling is fucked up too. Disgusting. What the hell do we got all these weapons for if we're going to be losing fucking games? And then there's another thing that I have. I do have to stick up for Odell on. It seems like Kitchens, that playbook, and Baker don't trust Odell to catch them balls, which he does catch. He misses them, but he does catch them. He misses his ball sometimes, but you have to trust him. He's starting to feel that you motherfuckers ain't trusting him. Odell came over here. If you ask me, him being with us it, it is making him a better man mentally. But at the same time, Odell got to get his numbers too. He got to get his stats too. Let me let me get off of here, man. I, this, this, this was a sickening game tonight. We we was just just a couple weeks ago, we we was number one. The the Steelers was down. Now they coming up. And we done went down. Now they higher than us. Psh. 